Well, we don't know who the individual actually was. He was one of a number of, of Confederate dead that were photographed by a photographic team that comes to the battlefield a few days after the fighting ends. And they're led by a photographer named Alexander Gardner. And Gardner, trying to get a really good composition, physically moves that dead soldier and creates a composition the way that a painter would. He sets the scene. So he places the soldier on the rocks in a certain way. He, he finds a rifle and he props it up next to that soldier. So he almost is trying to tell a story through the image that he takes of this Confederate soldier concealed in the rocks of Devil's Den, you know, sniping at Union troops on Little Round Top. He's really, um, he's a businessman more than anything. He's come to make a little money off the images of dead soldiers that he takes on the battlefield, but uh, most Americans had never seen a battlefield. And so Gardner's photographs are able to convey to Americans all across the North, all across the South, and even in Europe, the true, I think, horror and tragedy of places like Gettysburg. Uh, you can read about Devil's Den in a book uh, from the comfort of your living room. It's very, very different to actually come here, to actually climb through the same rocks these men fought over, to see the battlefield through the eyes of the individuals that made history at Gettysburg a century and a half ago. That's something that, that you can't get from a book. It's, it's a completely different experience and it makes, I think, our past real, something we can, we can hold, something we can see, something we can smell. The sense of place that you get at Gettysburg is why I think so many people gravitate towards this, this hallowed ground.